The Tube Tech Classic channel has probably been the plugin most people have been asking us to release for the recent rack extension format, and now we have finally done that. You can download it from the Propellerhead store and try it out for yourself for 30 days, no strings attached. But just to give you an idea of what to expect, here is a short demonstration. Softube's TubeTech models are based on high-end hardware which is hand-built in Denmark and used in top-class studios around the world. Classic Channel consists of three units. It's two different equalizers in the style of the very classic Pultec equalizers and one tube-driven opto-compressor. The Pultec style EQs are considered smooth and sexy capable of giving an enormously fat low end and a silky sweet top, which you'll hear in a few seconds. And the TubeTech CL1B, which is a well-designed tube opto compressor, has a very musical response and works equally well to add some density and coherence to an entire mix, as it does for use on individual instruments. Okay, let's hear it. Here's a slow and funky loop. It doesn't sound bad really, but it's a little weak and detached. Let's bring it to life. First, this is what is referred to as the classic pull tech trick. The low frequency section has both a boost and an attenuate knob with a single frequency selector that affects both knobs. But boost and attenuate are interactive in a cool way, so listen to this. I'll boost the low end with a 60Hz setting. Now that's fat and round. But then I'll attenuate. Hear that? The low end is still super fat, but attenuating it cleaned it up nicely. Here's the original again. And back on. Okay, so let's give the top end some sparkle. Here, the boost and attenuate knob actually have separate frequency switches. So I'll boost at 12 kHz. Nice, but perhaps the hi-hat got a little piercing now, so I'll attenuate at 5 kHz. Nice. This is the original again. See how fast that went? Then we have the mid-range EQ. This has three filters. Two can be used to boost a frequency, and one can be used to cut or dip, as it says on the unit. Perhaps you want the bass to be a bit more present, in which case a boost at 300 Hz will do the trick nicely. Or perhaps you'd like to bring out the snare a bit more, in which case a boost at 2 kHz might be the ticket. The compressor part of the classic channel is called CL1B. The quick way of getting a nice sound is to set this switch to fixed, in which case the attack and release knobs are deactivated. I'll keep the ratio at 2 to 1, and then I'll adjust the threshold until I see the VU meter hovering around 2 decibels of gain reduction. And if necessary, you can compensate for the level loss with a gain knob. Now here's how it all sounds when you compare the original to the sound with the TubeTech Classic Channel. But if you like to get a little more tweaky, set the compressor to manual mode. Then you can adjust the attack and release knobs to for example get a more punchy type of sound as well. At the bottom you can bypass each section individually. You can also place the compressor before the equalizers, which may be useful if you made strong low-end boosts with EQs. And finally, if you look at the master level meter, you'll see that I'm actually not boosting the overall level. It all just sounds larger and more together with the TubeTech Classic channel from SoftTube. Again, you can download the demo and try it out for free for 30 days.